Welcome to our course Digital Design with Verilog. In this week, we are discussing various combinational logic blocks, and in today's class, we are going to discuss comparator and multiplexer. These slides are prepared from Chapter 4 of Morris Manor's book and Chapter 5 of Quahavi's book. So, first, we will discuss comparator. So, as the name suggests, comparator is basically compared to numbers, and the output can be three types. If say the number is A and B, if A greater than B, that is one possibility is A equal to B and A less than B. Okay. So, I want to develop a module which will take two numbers and uh, it will give that three results. So, I have a comparator block. I will give two number. The number of bit can be anything in me in bits but it will be i have to develop for a fixed bit say 4 bit or 12 bit or 10 bit whatever it is okay it will have three results uh, one is greater than one is equal and one is less than a greater than b a equal b and a less than b okay so let's start with first uh, the two bit comparator so that means i have this uh, bit i have a and b which is two bits so now if I uh, think about uh, this uh, the conventional way of developing conventional design that you consider a tooth table okay. So if uh, this A and B has uh, 2 bits so there are 16 possible cases right. Uh, so suppose if I give this A and B so there are 16 possible cases uh, that means A, A value can be 0 0 B value can be 0 0 then a value can be 0 0 this is 0 1 this way it is 1 1 1 1 right in all these cases i can check whether this value this is value of a this is value of b right it's two bits so since this is equal so i will have three or uh, greater than equal and less than so this will be one this will be zero in this case in this case this is 0 0 this is 0 1 so a less than b right so this is 0 this is 0 this is 1 so this way i can identify the value of greater than equal or less than for all possible 16 combination of the value of a and b remember here a and b is basically two bits so now if i uh, try to map this value into carnot map and i can uh, find out the minimal expression for corresponding to each output right greater than equal and less than so here is my Carnot map. Uh, it's a combined Carnot map where I put uh, all three possibilities. One means uh, greater than, two means equal, and three means less than. Right. So I'm going to use one for greater than, two for equal, and three for less than. So you can see here the ones are placed here in these locations, right? And you see here it is uh, here it is x one is zero one this is basically a right so i am writing a in the columns and b in the rows right and the bits are representing as x1 x2 and y1 y2 okay the bits of a and b so in this case uh, a1 is 0 1 and b is 0 0 in this position uh, so b is 0 0 so obviously this is greater than so that's why this i put one here right so if similarly if you put this one so here a is 1 1 b is 0 0 obviously this is greater than if you will consider this location uh, in this location a is 1 1 and b is 1 0 so this is also greater than so this way uh, i whatever the locations i have one in this table in this case a greater than b okay so i can just uh, and the other places where basically two and threes are there those are basically zero when i am considering the output greater than right so now uh, using Carnot map, I can easily identify the minimal expression, which is uh, I can combine all this four into one product term, and that will be x1 y1 bar, right? Because here uh, it is uh, x1 because x1 is fixed here, and in this case y1 bar, right? Similarly, I can combine these two product term, and I'll get a product term of three size three. And I can combine this with this, right? So if I combine these three, so I'll end up getting this three product term. You can cross check. Uh, this is uh, very obvious from Carnot map. 
then similarly if i see about the equal option equal is basically only there are four scenario it will come right zero zero both a and value is zero zero or zero one zero one or one zero one zero or one 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 right so that is basically the coordinates right Z zero one zero one so this means uh, one 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 this means one zero one zero right so i have this corner values and there is no kind of uh, optimization possible or minimization possible here you cannot combine this product term so i'll have uh, these four product terms right corresponding to uh, this corner positions similarly uh, the rest of the positions will be uh, a less than uh, b because the one corresponding to a greater than b two corresponding to a equal to b so i'll have only the positions where three is written they are a actually less than b right similarly if you uh, see those positions so uh, i can again combine these three into one um, product term so that will end up giving me x1 y x1 bar y1 right this is x1 bar y1 okay x1 bar y1 similarly i can combine uh, this two product term and also this with this product term and i'll end up getting these three product terms okay and then i uh, we have done some multi level optimizations and final expression is this right so this f3 is given by this this expression f2 is given by this expression and f1 is given by this expression okay and uh, if i implement this f1 it will be look like this because what i'm doing here is x1 y bar so this is x1 y bar x1 or y uh, y1 bar this one then here I am uh, ending this with x2, y2 bar and this product term. So this compute the first uh, factored form and this one is x1, y1 bar right and then I do a or. So this way you can if you know the minimal expression, multi-level expression you can always construct the corresponding circuit. So I will suggest you try to construct f2 which is basically corresponding to equal and uh, f3 which is less than okay so similar kind of diagram you can construct from the expression that i obtained here okay so this way uh, we can uh, develop a two bit comparator again you can see here even for two bit comparator i have kind of four bit inputs because there are two inputs okay a and b now if i ask you to do it four bit comparator you will have uh, two four bit numbers of uh, so there are total input bit is eight okay so that means there are two to the power eight possible combinations of input is possible which is uh, 256 values and then you have to see in which case it is greater than which is case is equal and which case is less than so having the truth table and mapping into Carnot map is little bit tedious in this case right uh, even you can do quite McCloskey but now if you ask you for say 16 bit so then it will be little bit difficult to develop such comparator by this conventional method of truth table right so what we'll do is we'll try to apply our intuition uh, and then i can construct a minimal expression directly okay so it's just a logical understanding how the comparator should work and then based on that we can do that okay now let's take two four bit numbers say a and b let me give some example say this is 1 0 0 1 and this is 0 1 1 1 obviously in this case a greater than b right so what we can see here or say let's take an example where a and b equal say 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 where a equal to b and say third scenario where a is say 0 1 one zero and then say one one zero zero b then a less than b right so there are three scenarios i have taken so if you look into carefully is uh, or say let me take a little bit different example here it says zero zero one zero and then zero zero one one okay so here uh, if i try to compare a and b the first msb this is the most significant bit and this is the lsb which is least significant bit 
okay so if i compare this so in this place if a is 1 and b is 0 then i don't need to check the rest of the things because by this 3 bits maximum value will be 7 on the other hand if this bit is 1 this itself is 8 okay so if this bit is 0 the msb and this uh, and the other bit is 1 it means that differently a greater than b okay so i should compare only the first msb if they are uh, if uh, a is 1 and b is 0 then a greater than b i don't need to compare anything else or if a is 0 b is 1 then i can say b is greater than a okay and if they are same i cannot conclude anything same in the sense they can be 1 1 or it may be 0 0 as well so if they are same then i cannot conclude at this point then i should check the next bit okay and then this analogy holds there as well okay so for example my case of uh, a and b since this is 1 and this is 0 i will say a greater than b right i don't need to check anything else so what i'm checking here is basically if the bit are basically say b0 b1 b2 b3 and a0 a1 a2 a3 so this is basically my a3 and b3 right so if i check if a3 b3 bar this one which means if a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 this will result in 1 right so it will just check whether a1 and b0 or not right the a3 this so if this holds a greater than b holds right so if this is equal right so a3 equal b3 it can be 0 0 or 0 1 then i should check if a2 and b2 bar right so it means it means this is 1 they are same not 1 it may be 0 0 and my a1 is 1 and b2 is 0 then also a greater than b right so this way if uh, so in this case also this is zero same so this will be false then i should check that means my a3 b3 equal to same b2 a2 is same now i should check a1 and b1 again i should check versus a1 b1 bar right so if i check this point and if they are not same if a1 is 1 and b2, b1 is 0 then i will again say uh, a1 a is greater than b right so this way i can just check from msb to lsb and if i found that each bit are equal then i'll say this is equal right so first thing i have to develop how to check two bits are equal or not so which can be checked this way suppose there are two bits x and y so their values can be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right so this is x and y effectively okay so this will be output is equal output is 1 and 1 here it is 0 0 here right so it means it is x y or x bar y bar so this is x bar y bar this is x y so it's basically i have to check this let's say i define this as x i corresponding to bit i of a and b okay so i compute x0 which is basically checking a0 equal to b0 or not then i'll check x1 which is check whether uh, whether this uh, a1 equal b1 the bit of a1 equal b2 or not then x2 which is will check a2 equal b2 or not and x3 which will check a3 equal to b3 or not right so this i can check and i have three more information with me x0 x1 x2 x3 okay so which say x0 means the a0 the bit 0 and bit 1 of uh, the lsb of a, a and b are equal right x1 means the second bit uh, from lsb they are same okay so this way uh, i can have this three and then uh, i can check whether they're equal by just doing and of this four 
right x0 x1 x2 x3 because it says that your a0 b0 is equal a1 b1 is equal a2 b2 is equal and a3 b3 is equal because this equality will be checked by x0 this will be checked by x1 this will be by x2 and this will be by x3 so if i just check this it will tell me whether a equal to b or not okay so now so this will hold here right then it will hold here in this case in first instance itself so this x3 will not hold but a3 b bar this will hold so this is greater than and in my this example uh, in this example uh, so this x3 will hold right so because because here x x3 will hold x2 will hold x1 will also hold because they are all equal and x0 will not hold right this will not hold right so in this case what i should check a0 b0 bar if i check it means uh, this will not hold because a0 is 0 so this will also not hold but if i check a0 bar b0 this will hold it means 0 1 right it will say less than right so that means a less than b right so this way i can actually compare two numbers so the final expression will be like this which is given here for a greater than b first i'll check the msb a3 and b3 right so i'll just check whether they are one zero situation or not right a3 b, b3 bar if this is one and this is zero then i'll say a, a greater than b rest of the things i don't need to check i'll go to the next checking if they are same and they are same is determined by x3 right so if x3 uh, is true then what should i check whether i uh, i have this a2 b2 bar right so this will tell me that your second bit is uh, a second bit of uh, a is greater than second bit of b right so this will check this so this only be checked when this is equal right that is given by this x3 right so now if even if this is become false so if this become false means what your this a2 b0 does not a, a2 is not 1 and b2 is not 0 then i'll go to here and if now i'll check whether the first two bits are same or not x3 and x2 then i'll just check a1 b1 bar right what does this mean it means this is a1 is 1 and b2 is 0 so if i come till this point it means the first two bits are same and here it is different first two bits are same it may be this or it may be 1 1 1 1 1 0 it can be this way also that 0 0 1 1 1 0 or 1 1 0 0 1 0 so these are the four possibilities uh, I can reach to this place and in this case uh, this will always give me that a greater than b so even if this uh, falls so there is the only way your a can be greater than b that means first three bits are same that means x3 x2 x1 is one all one and then a0 b1 uh, b0 bar right so that means here a1 a0 is one and this is zero okay so this way i can uh, directly compute whether a greater than b without doing the cardinal map way of identifying the minimal expression and this uh, a less than b is the reciprocal of this so i'll just check whether a3 bar b3 if this is true that means this is zero this is one then only this will be true that means uh, b is greater than a okay so that means a less than b is true or they are same a3 b3 is same which is this and then i'll just check a2 bar b2 bar b2 it means again this is zero this is one it means if if this true that means your first bits are same uh, msbs are same and in the second bit they differ okay and here a2 is zero and b2 is one so this way again i can construct the corresponding expression corresponding to a less than b so this will be a1 bar uh, b0 okay i hope you understand this so constructing the circuit uh, which is very obvious so this is basically computing that x3 value this is computing the 
x2 value which is just check whether a2 b2 are same or not and then this is checking doing the x1 and this is basically x0 right this is corresponding to x0 this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 so once i have this value it is quite obvious to uh, compute this because i have to just connect this this is x3 this is x2 this is x1 and this is x0 and this will be a equal to b right and similarly i will just uh, do the end of uh, other uh, product terms and i'll just do a or here right to get the a greater than b and a less than b for example for a greater than b so here this is basically a3 if i just uh, try to explain you so uh, let me explain this uh, computation of a greater than b in this case so first output is coming from this right so this is coming from this so there it is basically a3 b3 bar right so this is what getting computed the second input is coming from here right so this is here i am computing x3 so x3 is coming here so this is x3 and this is basically getting computed is your a2 bar a2 b2 bar right so this getting ended here and this is coming here so this is effectively computing the next product term and the third is getting computed here here it is x3 is coming x2 is coming and this is your a1 b1 bar and in this one the other one is computing where x3 is coming x2 is coming x1 is coming and here it is x a0 b0 bar is getting computed right so they are connected so this connections uh, you can draw yourself which is just following these expressions okay now if i try to develop a 12 bit comparator i can uh, do that expression uh, so the expression that i have explained here i can do that right but you can understand that uh, since there are 12 bits i will have this comparison uh, of x1 to x11 right so x11 will say that a11 b11 are same so this expression will be quite big and the corresponding circuit will be also quite com complex to draw right what i'll explain here is i can reuse that 4 bit comparator that i have constructed to compute this 12 bit uh, comparator okay so uh, what we'll uh, do it here is uh, let's say i have uh, that 4 bit comparator okay in the 4 bit comparator i have this so i'll, I'll draw the same way so i explain here let me just explain here so i have this uh, x1 to x4 which is uh, in my previous example so you can just uh, map this x1 is basically a0 and x4 is a3 right so the same thing and the other four bits of b which is given by b0 to b3 which is given here as y1 to y4 okay y1 y2 y3 y4 in addition to that i just update this module with three more inputs it's it's saying that what is the preceding input okay of greater than equal and less than okay let's say uh, i give the name g e and l g means greater than e means equal and l means less than so there are three more inputs is coming to this module and what is this it's basically say that if g equal to 1 that means i don't need to compare anything here and the numbers are already equal okay so, so suppose initially you are already telling that these four bits are uh, i don't need to compare it is already greater than somehow okay so what i'll just do whatever this equation i constructed I'll just add here or G, right? If G is uh, there, I don't need to compare in these bits and my output will be automatically 1, okay? Similarly, if I have L is 1, that means I don't need to compare anything here, this A is already less than B, okay? And similarly, if E is 1, that means uh, in this case, I have to check whether uh, these bits are all equal or not because it may be equal till this point but it is differing here okay so in this case what i'll do i'll just do and with e so i just modify this uh, equation this way right i just do a and of e here 
or of G here or of L here and that things I will add in the circuit that I draw here. So, in addition to this A0 to B0, A0 to A3 and B0 to B3 input, I also have there are three more inputs L, E and G. Okay? And the way I modify the expression is this. Okay? Now, uh, why I have done that? What I am to do is that I want to reuse this module to calculate uh, the 12 bit comparator. Okay? So, what I am doing here, I am just connecting this three copy of this comparator. Okay, so this is my first copy, first instance, this is the second instance, this is the third instance of the comparator, 4 bit comparator. The way I, I have explained the enhancement. So, this is that version of this. Okay, and initially I am saying your G is 0, E is 1, and L is 0. So, if I just put 1 here, so it does not matter, right? Here, if you put 0, so G does not matter. And if I put 0 here, L does not matter. Okay. So, this is how I enhance my 4 bit comparator so that I can use them in a chain to con con construct a bigger comparator. So, then it is very interesting. So, I have two numbers, right? Let us say the numbers are basically x1, x2 to x12, and then you have y1, y2 to y12. Okay. So, these are the two numbers. This is my A, this is B. So, this is the LSB, this is the MSB. So, to compare whether A greater than B, as I mentioned earlier, we should give more emphasis on the MSBs, right? If the MSBs are big, I do not need to check the LSBs, right? Uh, so, if a MSBs of A greater than the MSBs of B, I do not need to check the LSBs of these two numbers that I have already discussed, right? So, what I am going to do? I will take the first 4 bit of uh, A, which is basically x12, x11, x10 and x9, right? Similarly, y12, y11, y10 and y9. And then I will put them into this first comparator, okay? So, what I have done here, the, I have taken the MSPs 9 to 12, 9 to 12 of the second number. And I put 0, 1, 0 so that the initial greater than equal and L have no impact, right? So, they are not making any impact if I just put 0, 1, 0. Then what the output I will obtain here? I will again get the value of this greater than, less than or equal based on this first 4 bits, right? And in the first 4 bits, if it is turned out to be that uh, the, this a greater than b say suppose this greater than b value become 1 right so uh, greater than value become 1 so in the next module this g become 1 right so in the next module this g become 1 so this automatically will become 1 i don't need to compare anything as a result one will come here and this will go here and in the third module again i don't need to see what the other inputs i'll automatically become 1 right so this way uh, i'm connecting this Okay, so, the first module is understood. Next module, I will just connect the next 4 bits, right? The next 4 bits and the third module, I am going to connect to the last 4 bits, right? This is the second module, this is the third module, this is the first module, okay? And how this is happening, I have already explained for greater than. Equal case, if say all are equal, so then I get 1 here. If I get 1 here, obviously greater than and less than will be 0. So, in this case, I am just saying this first 4 bits are equal. So, I do not know whether they are equal or not. So, now uh, again since this becomes 0, uh, so I will just now check what is happening for the next 4 bits, right? And 1 is since it is equal, so this just does not make sense, I mean it does not make much impact because it just say it is equal, you just check the next 4 bits, okay? So, this way finally if at any level if something gets, uh, if it is greater 1 that will propagate to the final output. If uh, in some point A get less than B, this will be propagated to the output and if they are equal, that will finally be calculated at the final level, okay? So, this way I have just connected 3 4 bit comparator to construct a 12 bit comparator, okay? I hope this is clear. So, you have very log implementation of the 4 bit comparator and I have already explained that equality can be obtained by this, greater than can be obtained by this and less than can be obtained by this equation. Okay. So, this uh, implementation is very straightforward.
So, I do declare a module comparator. I have two inputs A and B which are 4 bits and there are three output A equal B, A greater than B and A less than B. So, in as I mentioned I have to compute this x0, x1, x2, x3. So, which is I computed here uh, according to this uh, uh, expression that I have explained in the previous slide and then I just assign A equal B equal to end of this 4 x0, x1, x2, x3 greater than based on this equation and less than based on this equation that I have uh, is here right and then this is n module. So, it is very straightforward once you identify this minimal expression getting this very log code is just 2 minutes job. Test bank is also very simple. So, what I did is basically I instantiate this uh, comparator module and I just declare two register a and b which will give various values of a and b and I will compare and uh, I just connected this A and B to the A port of this comparator and B port of the comparator and I have declared three wire E, G and L, E for equal, G for greater than, L for uh, less than and I just connected to the corresponding respective ports. Okay. So, this part is same as the clock generation uh, which I have explained in previous, uh, previous module. So, here important thing is that how do we are giving different inputs. Okay. Again what I am doing here is that I just keep a register i which I reset at the start to 0 and then after that what I am doing here is that I run this uh, module for 10 times. I just check for 10 random numbers uh, whether they are following my correct output or not. I could have done for all 256 but uh, it is up to you whether you want to do for all or you just check for fews. Okay. So, what I did is basically. I keep incrementing i for each clock after 20 unit of time and my clock period is 20. Uh, so, every clock it will be incremented and every time what I am doing here is effectively I just take two number random number ok. Dollar random gives you some random number and I do a mod 16 means my value will be 0 to 15 right. Because I my a is 4 bit I will expect the value from 0 to 15. Similarly, uh, I take a random which may be 32 bit number. I do a module of 16 that means my value will be 0 to 15. So, I get to random number random value a and b and then I just uh, since this a and b is connected to the a and b port of this uh, module. So, this value will go into the comparator and corresponding output a this equal greater than or less than will come. So, let us see the simulation and this I will do for 10 times after 10 when i become 10 I will complete it. So, in uh, first I A came 0 1 0 0 and B is 0 0 0 1 obviously A greater than B here. So, I got it A greater than B. So, other 2 bits are 0. Next I give uh, randomly give 1 0 0 1 B is 0 0 1 1 obviously A greater than B. So, again I got G 1 L and E 0 E mean equal G B is greater than L is 0. Next uh, A considered is 1101 1, 1 and b is 1101. 1, 1. So, this is equal, right? So, I got e equal to 1, z0, zero, l0. Zero. So, this way uh, you can see that uh, I give 10 different combinations and you can cross check all this time my outputs are actually correct, okay? And as a result, I can conclude that this implementation of my this comparator module here for 4 bit is correct. So, I will put this as your uh, exercise that you take this module and develop this enhanced version of this uh, 4 bit comparator and then you develop a 12 bit comparator by instantiating 3 times which is very easy to do and I will give this as a homework for you. We will now start multiplexer. So, what multiplexer does? It is basically uh, is kind of electronic switch that connect one out of n inputs to the output ok. And so, this also called data selector. So, it has n input line and some m select line and there is one output right. So, we can usually draw this way a multiplexer. So, you will have d0, d1 to d n minus 1 n input line and select line are connected here right. So, d s0, s1 to s m minus 1 and here in multiplexer there is one output right. So, this is my max 
and the relation between m and n is this is n minus 1. So, usually the m is log log n right. So, if there are say 8 input s will be m will be 3 there will be 3 select line. If there are 4 inputs number of select line will be 2 if there are 2 inputs number of select line will be 1 ok. So, let us see how I can develop this multiplexer. So, basically you can understand here is that since I have a log n. Uh, so, if there are m select line there are 2 to the power m possible data line. So, in each case it will select one of the output right. So, if, if you just think about uh, 2 uh, select line so m equal to 2. So, then there are uh, d0, d1, d2 and d3 right and there are since there are 2 select line uh, there are 4 possible values right. So, uh, the possible values is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 ok. So, in this case if it is 0, 0 select line is 0, s 1 my output will be d 0. If it is 0, 1 my output will be d 1. If it is 1, 0 my output will be d 2. If it is 1, 1 my output will be d 3 ok. So, this way it is selecting one of the 4 possible data based on the select line. So, that is the functionality of a multiplexer. So, I was explaining 2 to 1 multiplexer. So, the way I uh, the naming convention is the number of data line and number of select line. If you have one select line there are two possible data line. So, it is 2 to 1 multiplexer. Similarly, 4 to 2 uh, multiplexer, 8 to 3 multiplexer and so on. So, you can see here uh, this design is very obvious because what I want to do if s equal to 0 then s 0 bar. Uh, so, see there is a single select line. So, it is s ok. So, if s equal to 0 I will pass i 0 or d 0. If s equal to 1 then I will pass i 1. So, this will be my out right. So, that means if it is 0 if s equal to 0 my output will be i 0 if s equal to 1 my output will be i 1 right. So, this is how I have to develop. So, this is what exactly I have drawn here. So, this is basically s 0 bar s bar and i 0 and this is i 1 and s s right and then you do a or this or. So, this is a simple uh, 2 to 1 multiplexer and it is conventionally shown like this. Here also we specify the values ok. Since it is 2 to 1 the s has 2 possible values 0 and 1. So, I just connect i 0 to the 0 port and i 1 to the 1 port just to designate that when s equal to 0 i 0 will be selected and if s 0 equal to 1 i 1 will be selected ok. So, this is clear. So, similarly I can just extend the similar logic to construct a 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, usually in the multiplexer it is the output right it is always 4 to 1 or 8 to 1 and so on because it is just say how many data select line goes to the output ok it is not 4 to 2. Uh, so, 4 to 1 multiplexer again it is a uh, similar uh, logic that 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 0. there are 4 possible value of s 0 s 1 whenever it is 0 0 I will pass i 0 will be my output whenever it is 0 1 i 1 will be my output whenever it is 1 0 i 2 will be my output and whenever it is 1 1 i 3 will be my output. So, I will just connect these things right. So, I will have put s 1 bar here this is s 0 bar and i 0 right. So, this I can write as s 0 bar s 1 bar i 0 right s into s 1 bar s 0 i 1 and s 1 s 0 bar i 2 and then s 1 s 0 i 3 right. So, this is my equation. So, this is what I have implemented here right. So, I just make the connections according to this equation and that will select one of the i 0 i 1 i 2 i 3 to the output based on the values of s 1 s 0. Implementation is uh, quite obvious. So, I just create a 4 to 1 multiplexers where my there are 4 inputs in 1 into in 3 in 4. 
so I just put s and that I made 2 bits ok. So that means uh, s0 and s1 right, so this way I just specify it and the output is y and I just wrote that equation straight away here which is basically s0 s0 bar s0 bar s1 bar in 1 and so on. And this way I can just declare the 4 to 1 multiplexer. And test case is quite simple, so I just instantiate the marks here. I create four registers, those are corresponding to the inputs and the select line is uh, 2 bits and I just connected them accordingly. And here what I am doing, I am doing with much simpler way. So initially I just set say I1 equal to 0, then I2 equal to 0, I3 equal to 1 and I4 equal to 0. And my initial select line was B00. Zero, zero. So, then what will be my output is 0, right? that is what I obtain. So, after 2 units of time, I make b equal to 1. So, since select line is still 0, 0, my output should become 1 and that is what happened here. Right? So, since i1 equal to 1, uh, select line is 0, 0, it is out i0 is coming here. right? And then after 2 units of time, I make select line is 1, 1. So, then it should select. Uh, the i4 right and i4 is 0 so that's why my output is 0 right and then i make modification i1 equal to 1 okay and since my still select line is 1 1 my output is 1 right i4 is coming at the output so this way i just uh, check for uh, few values you can just create more test cases to check whether all possible cases your output is actually correct or not okay there are uh, many uh, applications of these multiplexers. Uh, first of all, I will discuss I can actually implement any Boolean gate with 2 to 1 multiplexer, ok, 2 to 1 marks. How? So, as I mentioned, if you have this multiplexer that I have already explained earlier, if say input is D0 and D1, so I can write the expression like this, right. So, this is S D1 and S bar D0 that I have explained earlier. So, now just so I have a max like this right which is as 0 and 1 say so this is D0, this is D1 and this is S, this is my out right. So, in a boolean gate let us say I have a XOR gate right, I have input say A and B and output is what. So, what I can do I can just connect either A b 0 1 or a bar or b bar judiciously such that this marks behave like xor ok. So, which is uh, my objective ok. So, what I will do here is that I will just make s equal to a ok and then d 1 equal to b bar and d 0 equal to b. So, then what will happen? So, my expression is say S B bar. So, this will this will result in A B bar A B bar or S bar which is A bar B. So, this is the expression of XOR. So, this marks will now behave as XOR right. Now, let us I want to uh, implement uh, a NAND gate ok. So, what I will do now, I will have this marks and this is my D0, this is my D1 and this is my S. What I will do now, I will make S equal to A and D1 equal to B bar and D0 equal to 1 ok. So, if I do this and if I put this equation, so this is 0 and 1. So, the equation is that S D1 and S bar D0, right. So, let us now see if I put S equal to A. So, then what is happening? So, I just have S equal to A, then D1 equal to B bar and this is D0 equal to 1 and then A bar, right. So, I will get this equation. So, this is effectively A bar B bar, right. Uh, because in this case if a bar is true then this has no value right. So, I will end up getting this is NAND gate right. So, 
what I try to show here is that uh, I can just make a proper connections of uh, this A, B, A bar, B bar or 0, 1 to these three ports of this MUX and this MUX will be able like any gate. I will suggest you try how to construct AND gate, OR gate, uh, XOR gate, XNOR gate, NOR gate uh, using a MUX. In similar manner you can do that. So now uh, this is I have already explained. Uh, then uh, I also can implement any Boolean function using the multiplexer. Okay. So a Boolean function suppose it has input is say A, B, C, D, right? Or I'll say I'll take a generic scenario first. So suppose I have a function which is has x one, x n minus one to x one so there are n input variable okay x1 so this is a function which will take 10 n boolean variables so what i'll do is i'll take this x2 to xn to the select line and a variation of x1 which is x1 x1 bar 0 and 1 i take a variation of this and i'll put in the inputs okay so there will be n minus 1 select line okay so I'll make this connection. I'll explain how. Then this particular, uh, and I'll make a connection such a way that this function output will be same as the output of the function. Okay. So the output of the multiplexer will be same as the output of the this function. Okay. So let me explain with an uh, uh, example. So suppose I have three variables, x, y, and z, z, and the mean terms is one, two, six, seven. Okay. That means in this one, two, six, seven, my output will be one. Okay, let me explain. So, I can construct the truth table. The value of x, y and z is uh, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1 all possible and uh, the output will be 1 when this is 0, 0, 1 which is 1, output is 1, 2 is uh, 0, 1, 0, the output is 1, then 6 is 1, 1, 0 and 7 is 1, 1, 1 and in this case output is 1 and rest of the case output is 0. Okay. So now you can see that I can just club because if you just consider this uh, x y value in this two case out x y value is same right in this case x y value is 0 1 in this case x y value is 1 0 and in this case out x y value is 1 1 and z has 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 in this case okay. So this will be my select line okay. So this x y will be my select line. And I can see the relation of f, the output of this function with z. Okay. So here I am seeing that if z is 0, output is 0. And if z is 1, output is 1. So I can say that f is z in this case. right? So what I am doing here is I try to construct a max of two select line where I have connected x and y and it has four possible inputs which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So whenever this x, y is 0, 0 select line, I can see that whatever my z, that is my output. So I can just simply connect z here, right. Whenever the select line is 0, 1 in this scenario, I can see that if z is 0, output is 1. If z is 1, output is 0. So this is z bar. So, I will connect z bar here. Now, I will see the combination of x, y, 1, 0. In this case, I am seeing that if z equal to 0, output is 0. If z equal to 1, output is 0. So, it means it does not depend on z. So, f is basically 0. So, I will connect 0 here. Similarly, if uh, the case where uh, x, y is 1, 1, if z equal to 0, output is 1, z equal to 1, output is 1. So, it does not depend on z. So, it is output 1. So, I will make this connection and this is my the function implementation, right? This is my f. So, now this multiplexer will behave exactly the way this function uh, works, okay? So, in similar, uh, I can implement this in Verilog. So, I already have, I assume that I have a module, multiplexer module, 4 to 1 multiplexer that I have already explained in just few minutes back. So, Boolean function has uh, three inputs, x, y, z, z and output is out. So, what I just do, I just instantiate this marks, okay, where I am just connecting z, z bar 
0 and 1. What exactly I was looking for? Z, Z bar, 0 and 1 corresponding to the in 1, in 2, in 3 and in 4 output and I put a combination of xy, this is concatenation operation in Verilog, it is basically combined this to xy and that will be uh, put as a select line and then whatever the output of this multiplexer that will be my output. Okay. So, if I just simulate this uh, of similar kind of uh, test cases where I just now instantiate this boolean function instead of the marks and I am just putting three value i2, i1, i2, i3 and the output. So, initially it was 0, 0 and 1. Okay. So, now you can see that if, so this two will be my select line, right. So, this will be my select line. So, in case of 0, 0, my output will be z and z is 1, so output is 1, right. So, that is why I get output equal to 1. Whenever it is 0, 0, my output is basically i3. So, similarly, now I change i1 to 1. So, now my select line become 1, 0, right. So, in 1, 0 case, my output is 0. So, I got this, right. Then I make my i2 equal to uh, is 1 basically, uh, it is 1. So, in this case, my select line become 1, 1. So, in this case, my output is 1. So, I am getting 1, right. And then I uh, make my i3 equal to 0, right, i3 equal to 0. But since my output is 1, it does not matter, I am still getting 1, right. So, this way you can actually create many other test scenarios and you can just check whether your uh, this multiplexer actually working as uh, the function that we are implementing. So, I will complete this discussion with one more example of uh, this Boolean function implementation. So, here I have say A, B, C, D, four variable function and these are the main term present there. So, this is the truth table. So, as the convention, the first three variables will be considered as a select line and it will have eight possible scenarios and I can club this based on the possible values. So, this is the combination where the select line is 0, 0, 0. This is the combination where select line is 0, 0, 1 and so on, right. And this case again I will just see the relation between D and output, right. Here I can see it is f equal to D. Here I can also see it is f equal to D. In this combination I see it is basically f equal to D bar. Here I am seeing it is f equal to 0. Here also f equal to 0. Here also f equal to D. Here it is f equal to 1. Here also f equal to 1. So, what I am going to do is I will put a, b, c as the select line and these values. So, d to 0th input, d to the first input because this two, d bar to the second input, 0 to the next two input, third and fourth, d again to the next input and then 1 to the sixth and seventh input. So, this is my d0 to d1, d7, right. And this will exactly work the way this function works, okay. I hope you understand this uh, many Boolean fun function implementation in multiplexers and uh, you can implement any n size variable. The possibility that if there are n variables, you have to select the first n minus 1 bits as the select line and only 1 bit as the combinations for input of that multiplexer. Okay. With this, I conclude today's discussion.